Welcome to the German Jill Show as Gillingham head up to Blundell Park this Tuesday night to take on Grimsby Town who have been newly promoted to League 2 this season and Gillingham obviously newly relegated. It's not. It's been a while I think since these last two teams have met, the two G's in the Football League, uh, so we will see how they get on tonight. I'm going to be your host Reese, to take you through every step of today's game and if you'd like to follow our socials, uh, we are on Twitter which is Deutsch Jills, we are on Instagram which is German Jills and of course you found our YouTube page which is German Jills. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so through Buy Me A Coffee. The link to that is in the description. If you'd like to join a growing League 1 and 2 Discord community, you can join our Discord server. The link to that is in the description as well. And you can see something else that I do called Gaps in Knowledge, a podcast that I run. The link to that is also in the description. So let's head over to Blundell Park for today's live match reaction. Los Gates Jills! So we're about to get underway here at Blundell Park and obviously we just, uh, the whole stadium gave their respects to uh, her Queen, Her Royal Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II and uh, this is the first game after, obviously games are postponed on Saturday to mark the respect of that. Um, but yeah, let's see if Gillingham can, uh, can turn this into a victory today and get actually a goal for a change. So Grimsby have got corners left hand side. The first from the game as it goes near post and it's jumped bounce across the face of goal. Just to clear the lines and take a shot at goal again. Grinsby again still knocking on the door from this corner as it comes in and Jills need to clear that line. It's gone right through. This is dangerous for Jills and it's saved by Morris and then it's gone in the back of the net. It's oh, it's such a shame that Grinsby has scored that because it didn't need to happen. But it was a decent save by Morris and he just slipped out of his hands and it's gone straight into the back of the net. It happened all so quickly. I thought Glenn Morris would have picked it up and, and kept hold of the ball, but that hasn't happened. And that's probably his first real mistake as a Chills goalkeeper uh, so far. Actually, you know what? It wasn't a mistake to begin with, but... The problem here is Jills are not cleaning their lines of the corners. A miss header at the front post from Amo, it looked like. Decent block by... Um, by Ashur O'Keefe. It was recycled back in. It's gone through one, two, three players, four players, and then a shot at goal spilled by Morris. He couldn't quite get it, and back in the back of the net. Do you know what? There's about eight or seven Jules players responsible for that goal, um, not just the goalkeeper spilling it. 1 0 Grimsby. So Jules got a corner again this right hand side. It's going to be taken by Reeves. going to put an in swinger in. His last corner wasn't great. This one's a lot better. Goes to the back post. Can Jules actually get there? It's bouncing around. Someone get in the back of the net! And we've scored! My God! Jules have equalised with Manjon, who put it straight down the centre. And Jules have managed to get their second goal of the season at Blundell Park. My goodness me, Jules have equalised it here on the 13th, 14th minute. It was a really bad corner the first time it went over from Reeves. Second time was much better. And Jules have managed to find the back the net my goodness me since <laughs> since we played Rochdale let's watch that again because we don't know when the next one's going to come along it's got a uh, good delivery it's good uh, oh yeah it was a bit of a bundle bit of a scrap but luckily it was uh, Mandron who was alert to try and find that ball bounce around to put it in the back of the net so thank goodness for that Jills have managed to find the back of the net and equalise it at one all at Blundell Park Oh, there's a header forward then. Kashka uh, could get on the end of that. Kashka has got the ball. He's not. He's on side as well. And he's taken on his man. And he's going to the box. He can do it himself. He's going to take the shot himself. And it's a decent save from the goalkeeper. It's a shot on target. And it had to be pumped away by the goalkeeper. And Jill's looking a lot more likely to score in the last sort of 10 minutes of this game so far. Still 1-0. So Jill's got a corner on this right-hand side. It was Reeves that took it once before, which led to the Jill's goal. We've got 10 minutes till half-time. And let's see if Jill's can get ahead from this corner as it does our in-swinger. Can we get up there and head it towards goal? We can! But it's not been given. It's, I don't know, is it offside? It's a free kick. <laughs> it was a really good rise. I think it was Max Aber, but I thought we'd got two goals in one game. And you can see the excitement I would add. Let's have a look as it goes across. It was headed by, uh, by Mandel in the end, actually, but I don't see what the referee is given there, but um, I think it's probably an off-the-ball incident I had missed, but the referee gave. So not a goal, still one all, but a bit more excitement and positivity from Jills. There's a short corner by Grimsey on this right-hand side, looking to get this ball into the box and do it quickly. They are still on this right, so they're going to put the ball in now. Children to clear their lines. They half have done it. It's what happened last time. As they take a shot, they've hit the crossbar. My goodness me. And another shot and another save by Morris. My goodness me. Grimsy could have easily gone 2-1 up there. Wow. It was a off the crossbar, then another shot and a save by Morris. Wow. Grimsby, I have no idea how you didn't score that because I was pretty convinced that I was going to the back of the net. Still one all. 
Let's have a look at this chance again. I think it's important we do so. It's a, a quick move by um, Grimsby to get the ball into the box. Again, half cleared away by Jill. It's not convincingly, but a decent shot. I think it was deflected off Mandron when he hit the, the underside of the crossbar. And then, I mean, the camera's in very quickly, but Glenn Morris managed to get up and make a decent save to his right and low post. So, you know, Jill did pretty well to get the ball away, but very lucky not to concede. And that is half time. So at half time, it's Grimsby Town 1, Gillingham 1. And uh, yeah, Gillingham finally got a goal. It's taken so many games to get there, but we've done it on a Tuesday night at Blundell Park, in the 14th minute with, uh, with Mandron. It was a scramble in the box that, um, that eventually fell to his feet and, and used instincts to get the ball in the back of the net. But it was a sloppy goal to concede early on when Gilles went 1 0 down. Um, as a, and we've been poor from defensive and set pieces all game, actually. And uh, we nearly went behind a couple of times from there, particularly when Grimsby hit the crossbar and Morris have had to make a couple of saves to keep Gilles in it. Uh, uh, but actually, we're looking pretty good uh, value for the draw at the moment. And if Chills can press on, I don't see why they can get a victory in this game. And uh, that would be very welcome if we can take three points away from Blundell Park. So we're about to come over the second half. Let's see if Chills can actually get a, a three points away from home. We've had a good first half and hopefully we can get a second on the second half and uh, walk away with something from this game. So Jules has got a free kick about 40 or so yards out. So we're taken by Reeves. It's looking short to the right-hand side. Give it to Adelak. And can he get the ball into the box and create something here? Jules looking dangerous right at the start of the game. It goes across the face. A goal! Oh, it just needed a tap in at the back post. And it was so close for Jules getting an early lead in this second half. Great work from Adelak and to get the ball across the box. Took on his man there. And he, if anything, hit it too sweet, too hard. And it just needed a touch. Just didn't quite get it, unfortunately. But a solid start from Gilles at the start of the second half. So Grimm's got this ball in the centre, looking to get a shot away. He'll manage to get to the right-hand side. Instead, they're going to create a lot of space, a lot of danger for Gilles as it goes across the face of goal. It's a good back hill. It's been scrambled around. Grimsby nearly got it out the back of the net there. Really nice bit of fancy play as they've passed it across the box and then back across and... You know, a bit of fancy back hill work there, and it is nearly 2-1 Grimsby. But Gilles managed to clear their lines, and it currently still stands at 1-0. all Oh, there's a bit of a mistake by Glenn Morris and Jules to clear their lines here big time. It's a mistake and they got a chance, Grimsby, and it's been blocked by Bagger as it goes out for a corner. It's one of the rare moments from um, Glenn Morris where he lost a bit of control and, and it was a really bad kick from him. It wasn't the greatest pass back to him, I don't think. We'll have a look now. I mean, oh, we won't see that, but it was actually well defended by Baggett in the end and Grimsby's got a bit of space on that right-hand side. Good block and they've got a corner on this left-hand side. Still one all. Jill's coming forward now. It's a great ball through. Can Mandron get on his left foot? He needs to shoot. Oh, it's a decent save by the goalkeeper, but Mandron should be doing a lot better to put that, uh, 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 put that in the back of net, essentially. He feels he should have probably scored that. As Jill's are still going forward, um, we've got Robin McKenzie on the ball. We've got uh, Green on the right-hand side. Can Jill's make amends and get this in the back of the net? Green's going to get into the box. He puts it across, and it looks like it's going to go out for a throw-in. Jill's probably should have gone 2-1 up here. Great work from Mandron, uh, but not good enough in, by his standards. Um, great work from Adelaka to get that ball forward. Tried to get onto his trusty left foot. Did in the end. Easy save in the end by the goalkeeper, to be honest. Still 1-0 here at Blundell Park. I just got a freak on this uh, right hand side. It's an in swinger. Can Jules get on the end of this? It'd be a last minute grass. They've got uh, O'Keefe's giving it to Adelak and he needs to find a bit of space to get it into the box. It's gone to O'Keefe again. It puts it across and Jules have scored right at the end of the game. And for some reason, we're repeating it and we're going back. But in it goes and Jules, I don't know what happened, but Jules have scored. No, no, it's offside apparently. Oh, it's given right at the end as offside. My goodness me. Jills again have had two goals disallowed in this game so far. And uh, I don't know what happened to my internet there, but I was pretty convinced Jills had got the win there. But in fact, it was offside. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> so be it. <laughs> Still one all. <laughs> and that is full time.